All right, I have a quick one for you here. We have the Fairmont now, we have it, and I was like, man, I always wanted to mess with the stock engine, and I was like, man, I should put something on it, like LS coil packs, and do dumb things, and, and turbo the stock six cylinder, because I have plenty of time in between other projects to ruin this one before I start it. I've always been semi-curious about uh, how those engines would do, just as a fun standpoint, I like to push the boundaries on all of that stuff. I've done a lot of LS stuff, I love LS stuff, I'm gonna keep doing LS stuff, but I still wanna mess with that stuff. So, in the meantime, uh, what do you do about that? Well, I was, I was thinking about it, and that has a one barrel carb on it. And maybe within the last year, or more than that, I have no clue of the timeline, Holly has that sniper stuff, which is a replacement EFI carburetor, and they have a one barrel sniper. And I haven't really seen anybody use it. And I pitched to them and they were like, yeah, no one really produces good video on it, shows how it's done, shows how to use it, shares any information, etc." And the other cool thing to elaborate, they just came out with a five inch dash for the sniper specifically, because all they had was the three and a half. So the five is pretty cool to add to people's you know, hot rods. Uh, I, I really understand how awesome the sniper could be if you have a classic car and you just want it to run better. So you can just bolt the sniper on and leave all your other stuff go. So Holly also bought STS Turbo, I didn't know. I was talking to my rep. So I got the smallest STS Turbo I could get from them and I got the sniper one barrel and a whole bunch of other associated goodies that we just came up with and we're going to put the one barrel sniper on the Fairmont and then we're going to turbo it and do all of the other, as much fun stuff as we can with it as is, uh, just because, just to evaluate it and uh, get some experience, show you guys. I've, I've heard of people putting it on like uh, tractors, like some people have international tractor and other John Deere's and stuff and they just run awful or, or they it's just tough to keep up with it and they just want it to be easier to start and run. So they have the one barrel sniper for them. Super curious about it. They sent it to me. I'm gonna open the boxes now. Hopefully we get a decent uh, amount. I put the camera like way up here. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to do something here. It's too cold in my garage. I have too much stuff in my garage to open this stuff. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try it right here. I don't have Jamie to help me right now. I don't have sassy camera woman right now. She's busy buying every German car on the East Coast. Oh, what is, this is cool. I didn't know. Well, these are fittings, obviously. This is cool. Uh, Vapor Guard Modern Plumbing uh, Push Lock. Oh, Push and Crimp. Oh, this is cool. Well, my kid loves stomping on those. Jamie doesn't like it. I taught him how to stomp on them and pop them. And we have fun with it. So we'll do that in here. Look at this. Fender covers. Heck yes. I am so fancy now. I've never had a fender cover in my life. Holly fender covers. Well, we all know what those are. Look, it says logo here. Isn't that cool? The original fender gripper. Anyway, 34 by 22. Got to keep that Fairmont nice. Nothing else. Oh, nothing else here matters, man. I have so many boxes in here. So many. I have to burn them all then. I have nowhere near enough room in my recycling for the amount of cardboard. I go through, let me open this on the floor. What do we got here, what do we got here? Oh, oh there's a turbo. Heck yes. So I, what's funny here is I didn't even look at that Fairmont under the hood. I dropped it off with my buddy Josh and I assumed it was the six cylinder. But man, I felt slow the more I drove it. It's the four cylinder Fairmont. I've only had one other four-cylinder Fairmont. I got the smallest turbo I could from Holly. 
<laughs> and that's so, so cool. They own STS now. Isn't that crazy? They own like four million companies. I got the smallest one. Does it say what it, it's like a 48 millimeter. It's small. It's literally the smallest one I could get from them. This is cool. So we're going to take that stock exhaust manifold and build a whoop DJ pipe. Feed the turbo off the stock exhaust manifold. And then I think I'm going to just non intercool right into the one barrel, which man, it will be cool. And it may be true that the one barrel opening is identical size to the outlet of this guy. Wow. Look at that little baby. Little baby. It's very oily. I'm not going to set it on my desk, but it's very oily in the bottom of that bin. So blammo, there's the turbo for the Fairmont. Turbo Fairmont guys. Notice the lack of LS in that statement. So turbo Fairmont, awesome amount of vapor guard. He sent like an entire, obviously retro fuel system. Here's the clamps for that vapor guard stuff. So it's got a little barb. I'm very excited about this. Who wants to buy a Mustang? No, no, it's getting done guys. Jeez. Barb fitting clamps. Awesome. All of that, I should find a tiny box to shove all of that stuff in. So I'm not just... So this is fuel fittings. What's in here? I don't know, it's got a label on that side, but I don't want to spoil it. I always read them and then I know. And then we lose the birthday surprise, huh? What's this? What are you? Ooh, cam bus. Oh, is that the five inch dash? Sick. So this is going to get plugged into my sniper and that's their new five inch dash. Oh, look, it comes with suction cup things. This is sweet. Wow, look at all that. Holly EFI sniper five inch touchscreen. Oh, so a GPS antenna also. My speedometer works mint. I actually GPS confirmed it. Uh, works great in my Fairmont. Okay, that's the dash. That's super exciting. Let's not wreck the dash, Matt. Awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna take a week off work. Sniper my Fairmont. Stop driving all my Kias. Fairmont mail time already. Are you guys as excited as I am? Oh, cool. Vapor guard uh, inline fuel filter. What is this? What is this? This looks like an oil filled. Yep. 100 PSI fuel pressure gauge. What's in here? Regulator? Whoa. Yep, and it comes with a different spring. Sweet, three eighths, three eighths, three eighths. Regulator, bolts, bolts for the regulator. We got a regulator, we got, one of these is gonna be hose. It's a big brown box more than likely. So this is cool, we get to kind of stage we get to see what it's capable of before we throw it in a trash bin. I wonder if one of you guys wants the engine and trans. It's the, what is it, a 2.3 naturally aspirated? Is it the 2.3? I don't even know. Fittings, vapor guard, vapor guard. That's cool, you just push these on and clamp them. For carby dudes. For carby data dudes. Nice. Really nice assortment. Hooking me up, hooking me up. So I think the, the one barrel sniper ships on like the 25th or the 31st. So in a, in a day or a week, uh, the whole assembly, the one barrel sniper will ship out. 
Look at all this cool stuff. I am very excited. This is the fuel box. What do we got here? What do we got here? What's this stuff? Oh, geez. Oh, a pressure transducer. Another one. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's consolidate and let's throw that to the wolves. What's a hyper spark? Obviously, it's a spark module. Dang. Can I use this? Here's hoping. Oh, cool. It's a coil. Hot diddly. Whoa, geez. That's a little serious for this boy, but it's all going in there. You can make your own feed. Your own power and grounds. Blammo! Oh, this goes in first. And then this is... Oh, 3 8 hose. For sure. Yeah. Earl's. 3 8 hose. I'm not going to crack those open, but those are spools of hose. Fuel hose. Vapor guard hose. And then, yeah, we're just waiting on... We got the turbo and everything already. We're just waiting on the, the sniper unit itself. And then we'll line up some time to uh, swap haul that in the Fairmont. That'll be awesome. That'll be ridiculous. Uh, this is super exciting to mess with. I'm so excited to mess with such a turd. And I hope you guys are too. So, cool, we got parts already for the Fairmont to do ridiculous things. It's amazing that they will uh, support me with my ridiculous adventures and you guys get to watch it and see how it works. And then I'll post the tune in the tune cabinet. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Holly. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, mail time, and we're gonna throw this stuff on when I get the rest and uh, mayhem ensues. <laughs>